by another early co-sponsor of 214, council member Ben Kalo. Yeah. Woo! I'm going to have to head upstairs for starting our hearing in a minute, but I want to call up the great Brad Lander. Thank you to Mark, thank you to Vanessa, thank you to Casa, thank you to this incredible coalition. Thanks to you, the momentum for a right to counsel That's in housing right. court is growing That's and will right. not be stopped. Yeah. Folks in this crowd have known how important this is and how smart this is for a long, long time. But over the last year, many more New Yorkers and many more Americans have come to understand why. Thanks to Matthew Desmond's book, Evicted, millions of people have come to understand just how devastating the eviction crisis is, who profits, who pays, and what it's doing to our country. And thanks to the first report of the Office of Civil Justice, New Yorkers have come many more beyond you to understand that this is smart, that it's working, that it keeps people in their homes, and that it saves money. And thanks to your work, and thanks to that work, this coalition will keep growing, the momentum will keep growing, and we will establish a right to counsel in New York City. So we have a few more people lined wow. up, and I want to now introduce City Council woman, yes. Helen Rossman. <laughs> Why are we all together? Why do we know that this is the most important thing? As elected officials, every day we see the inhumanity of not having a lawyer when somebody goes to court. It's inhumane for everyone who has to have that experience, the humility of losing your home just because a fast-talking lawyer representing a fast-talking landlord can drive you out of your home. It ain't right. It ain't right. I'm so proud to be standing here with you today. Thank you very much. And now, City Council Member, Mr. Kalos. Good afternoon, I'm Council Member Ben Kalos. I represent the Upper East Side, East Midtown, East Harlem, and Roosevelt Island, where tenants are being forced from their homes every day so that they can turn affordable housing into luxury skyscrapers for billionaires. And we need a right to council here in New York City to protect our tenants. So first, I just want to thank our sponsors, Mark Levine and Vanessa Gibson, as well as uh, on behalf of the Progressive Caucus, which has endorsed this item. We've been carrying it on our platform. It is one of our key campaigns, which we hope to get passed. We've already had success with $62 million in the budget. Woo! But I'll ask a point of trivia. Why is the New York Constitution better than the United States Constitution? <laughs> and it's because we have a right to shelter. And so when the Supreme Court in Gideon versus Wainwright found a right to counsel in criminal prosecutions, they didn't have a constitution like we do. They didn't have a right to shelter. And so I hope that the courts here would have found a Gideon versus Wainwright for us, for our tenants. But the courts can't act and won't act and didn't act. It's high time for us to pass a right to counsel for the city of New York so that no tenant gets forced from their home when they should have been able to stay. No affordable housing becomes luxury housing just because the tenant didn't have a lawyer. And what we've already seen is that having a lawyer makes a huge difference with 25% reduction in evictions because we can't just evict New Yorkers so that we can replace them with people who can pay more rent. All of us need to be able to afford to live here in New York without fear of being displaced through evictions, and a right to counsel will fix that. Thank you. Thank you.
not from New York City. This is a beautiful day, an exciting day, and the eyes of this nation are on New York City. This will be the first legislative body to pass a right to counsel in evictions and foreclosures. If we centuries ago. This is important. You are not just funding council. You are giving the people of this city a right. This is exciting. It is leadership. You. This will be the first body, but be assured you will not be the last. I am from Philadelphia where we are watching with envy and excitement what goes on in this city. I commend everyone for the work they have done to get this far. I urge you to take that last, last step and to know that New York City will be the leader in showing what justice for all can look like in this country. Thank you. Distinguished person 
who happens to be a tenant like myself, and raise your hand if you've been in court with your landlord. So I'm gonna ask my colleague and friend through Casa, Randy Diller, to talk to us about what it's like to be a tenant in housing court. of the rent was paid. The reason why Section 8 stopped it because my apartment was full of mice, roaches, mildew, leaks all throughout the right. apartment. And and right. Right. Channel 11 News came in and did a highlight of my apartment and you would think that the landlord, I've seen it on television, but it did the repair. So he took me to court for Section 8's portion of the rent through CASA, and Pops part of the solution, I got an attorney. Yes. When I first went into housing court, I didn't know what to do. I was totally afraid. I'm a single parent of five. My daughter became depressed as well as I came depressed. I started taking more medication than what I normally take. My daughter's grades dropped from B's to D's because we thought we was going to the shelter. When I got an attorney, I found out what an adjournment means. I found out what a default means. I found out what a stipulation means. I found out uh, how they write up a, a, a disposition. Tenants don't know that. That's only language for attorney. And by me having an attorney today, I'm now in a brand new apartment. Yes. Yes. My my daughter is upstate yes, with two, two semesters upstate and she's doing good. Yes. Listen, no tenant, I don't care who he is, know the language of housing. And you got 23,213 homeless children in the shelters today. My daughter would have been one of them homeless children in the shelter if I didn't have an attorney today. Fight, fight, fight! 